What's going on everyone, it's Lil Electro, and with rank coming out this patch, a lot of us are looking to get right into the rank grind and see how far we can make it. While a lot of people are climbing very quickly, there are plenty of people running into more trouble than they thought. I was able to climb to Platinum in the first 24 hours of rank being released, and because of that I believe I can offer 4 solid tips to improving your odds at climbing. Like anything in life, getting better at teamfight tactics won't be an instantaneous thing, and will take a lot of trial and error. However, if you implement the fundamental tips I'm about to give you, there is no doubt you will see improvement. Now without further ado, let's get into the first tip. The very first tip is one that targets the different approach you should take when playing a ranked TFT game as opposed to a normal TFT game. Tip number one is to play to get into the top four, not first place. In a normal game of TFT, it is generally unsatisfying to land anywhere but first place as you are solely playing for the satisfaction of being first. However, in ranked it should be a totally different perspective. The way the rank system works, as I am sure most of you are aware, is that if you get 8th to 5th place, you lose LP at different amounts depending on how low you finish, 5th being the lowest LP loss and 8th being the most. The opposite is true with the 3rd and 1st place, where you gain LP based on how high you finished, and 4th place is the break even point where you should generally not gain or lose more than a few LP. This is extremely important, because in ranked, you don't have to play for the first place in order to climb. A lot of players will go for a full late game comp that requires many high cost units to come online. This may win you the game if you assemble it, but puts you at the risk of losing too much health early, never making it to the late game. By looking at most of the top players right now, you'll see that they run comps such as Ninja Assassin or Carry Volleybear Brawler comps, because they spike near the mid game and are able to function well enough in the very late game. Also, playing with the top 4 mentality is really good when you are behind early, because when you are super behind, you shouldn't be thinking of what units you will need when you get to the final few rounds, your mentality should be what can I build right now that will get me into the top 4. Obviously, you should still try to win if you are able to create a comp that functions super well in the late game without losing too much HP. But in a game of RNG, we have to understand that expecting to get first place every game just isn't realistic. However, securing a top 4 position should be something that you can do 85% of the time if you are playing to your best. Tip number 2 is one that you might not want to hear, but the tip is, you have to keep up with the meta. Now for a lot of people, this can be a daunting and stressful task because the game is always changing and there are a lot of new innovative strategies that come out every day. However, if you are serious about climbing, you have to make a legitimate effort to keep up with the meta and try to follow popular builds. Luckily, there are a lot of resources that can help you figure this stuff out, such as tftactics.gg, Mobifier, and League of Graphs. Personally, I use tftactics.gg for my main source of information, as I keep up with all the patch notes and balance changes, as well as keep a pretty updated tier list. Another thing you can do, is watch some of your favorite streamers who are high ranked and just follow the comps that they run and try to follow their train of thought when they explain why they do what they do. We don't all have to be innovative geniuses that think of the next big thing. There are people that do all that hard work for us. All we have to do is just copy them. Tip number three is a pretty simple and short one, but one that is important to anyone who is serious about climbing in TFT. Don't queue with people who are lower ranked than you. I know TFT is hot right now and everyone and their mom is playing this game, but if your friend is chilling at bronze 3 and you are gold 4, playing with them is going to kill your LP gains. If you are playing with lower MMR people, you will not only lose LP for placing below 4th, you will also lose LP for placing 4th place. You are forced to place top 3 if you want LP gains and you will still get reduced LP from what you would gain playing solo or with people of your same rank. Basically, when it's time to play ranked, remember, it's all business, no friendship. Now tip number 4 might seem like a direct contrast to the previous tip, but tip number 4 is to queue with two players that you trust around your same rank and communicate with them. If you are able to communicate with your party what comps you are all looking to go, you can effectively avoid hogging each other's units by going for different comps. There are only a select amount of each unit in the pool that everyone can get, so if you're able to reduce the amount of players running your same comp, you should absolutely do it. You can also communicate with each other on the carousel and try to determine what the best possible pickups could be for everyone in your party, 
so that you have a lower chance of getting your ideal pick taken. The reason you need to do this with competent players that you trust is that it is very easy for someone to take all the information you are giving them and completely screw you over by denying you units and taking your carousel picks. However, if you can get a couple good friends that want you to win as much as they want to win, you can definitely abuse the duo system to increase your win rate. You can also get all three of your party members into the top three with you and just have them sell all your units and feed you first place, but that is win trading. And I would never condone that behavior, even though abusing the system in that way is totally within the bounds of the flawed ranked duo queue system that Riot has created, and while it is technically an abuse of the system and competitively immoral, you can still do it if you want to. But basically what I'm saying is don't win trade. Wink wink. For those of you who stayed till the end, I want to say thank you for watching the video, and I hope that these tips helped you in one way or another. There's no magic tip anyone could give you that will make you instantaneously climb. However, if you follow these four tips, you should see some improvement in your play, even if it is only a small amount. I'm learning every day and practicing to become a top TFT player, and I will continue to share what I have learned with all of you. If you want more educational gameplay and guides similar to this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button as it helps me a ton and ring the bell to be notified when a new video goes live. But until next time, You've been electrified.